hello guys today I'm going to show you how to get uh, each line of a uh, tick enter text so I will write down a uh, simple code don't call me down throw me out let me in the hands I once was a man they me in here so please please could you find a way to let me down slowly that sympathy, I hope you can show me If you wanna go, then I'll be so lonely If you leave me, baby, let me down slowly Let me down, down, let me down, down, let me down Down, let me down, down If you wanna go, then I'll be so lonely If you leave me, baby, let me down slowly And I can stand myself from falling Down, down now I can't stop myself from falling down, down. Could you find a way to let me down slowly? A little sympathy, I hope you can show me. If you wanna go, then I'll be so lonely. If you leave him, baby, let me down slowly. Okay, now we will test it. I will uh, print some text and then get it. And as you see, each line was printed uh, individually so if you want to use each line and do something to it like for example delete word or something you should uh, use this uh, variable line text or you can change it as you see here and now I will show you another way to do with code right here first I created a list square list then I fit the text into a variable called text I appended the text to the list this is the result that we got here fit the backslash in I guess so you can do it manually with the for loop like for now I will do a, a quick example it was at this moment that he knew he up okay I will stop recording okay I thought I was going to take some minutes but I think I took a half hour so you can see the right bottom of the PC this is uh, the code if you want to use the uh, square list I will uh, run it now and try so here let's say let's say <laughs> uh, the second one here we are and the third one something we will press get text and as you see each line will be printed so uh, those are the two methods to get the uh, text from the tick enter text now I will explain the second code then we will go back to the first one so here we created a new list then we get it, the text from the text of tick enter uh, from the first line until the end so here we uh, appended the text to the square list and now we are going to work with the square list first I created a word that it is empty then uh, I created a variable containing the text of the square list uh, then I made a for loop so for each let's say the first word is let's say and the new text variable you get that word let's say uh, I made a for loop uh, I get it the length of the text that it is let's say so the length of it is 9 each uh, uh, number of uh, those alphabets I will check if the word it is let's go the number of alphabet 4 uh, the number of alphabet 4 from that word is s so that s if it is equal to uh, backslash n and that one doesn't matter uh, and the length of word uh, is bigger than zero then you will print the word and reset it first uh, I collected the word how do I did it so s is not uh, backslash n so that means that I should uh, store it in the word variable until uh, I reach the uh, backslash n then I will print the things before it and skip the backslash n. that's the idea of the code
uh, maybe I will explain the second one. The second one depends on the app. I will try it again. The variable is tickenter text. Right here, tickenter text. The tickenter text is text widget. Try it again. Let's. Okay, you get the word. So uh, let's say one, two, five. And let's say one, two, five. The same thing, but with a few lines, I guess. If you if we compare it to that one, also you can delete that thing, and that thing, and make it directly to to your uh, chicken or text. First, uh, I get it the number of lines. Here, uh, you will get the number of lines as a float. So let's say seven lines. You will get it like that. I want it uh, as a string so what I did I switched the uh, 7 to a string state like that then I took the first uh, the first number the first number is 7 so now we get text like that and then I switch it to an integer so now we get 7 purely integer this is the number of lines we got 7 lines for each uh, line number in range of uh, starting from 1 until uh, 7 you will get me each line how can i do it by doing uh, tick enter text dot get uh, also tick enter text is text widget when you use get method first you should say the first uh, line and the second one that should stop in it so for uh, for us one in the second number will be one plus one uh, it was uh, one like that integer then I switch it to float and the second one will be one plus one that mean two and I switch it to integer that mean two dot zero then I printed that line uh, and here it is as you see uh, that's all thank you for watching I hope you found it useful and thank you